welcome back. We are here with Andrea and James. So we just thought we'd pick up where we left off. Mm, yeah. Pick up where we left off. I'm talking about a Mercedes Benz. What are you guys talking about? I would like to be talking about a Mercedes Benz, but well, I'll take one. Show. Yeah, all right, right <laughs> after this one. <laughs> that's our next show. You know, so much is done on the internet, and we surely don't want to help people understand that they can find out all kinds of things on the internet. The things we want you to find out about are the good things that's going to help you live longer live healthier and access be help and resources exactly you're quiet on that aren't you <laughs> no I'm not I, I think the internet can be a really great resource right. um, for also learning what you can do to impact the policies that impact these right. things right not talk only about that because we've told them what the problem is we told them what the bill is tell them what they can do to really get proactive in making the difference in this situation? Well, there's a lot of states that are considering laws like this um, right now. Uh, Utah is one of them. Um, there's a whole slew that are coming forward with these bills across the a country. No matter where you live, it's important to let your state legislators know that you support this kind of policy, right. that you support protecting gun rights and doing it through a way that also protects society from a public health problem and saves lives, right? right? So contacting your state legislators is really important. Writing them an email. Here in Utah, we can pick up the phone and call them and talk to them and say, hey, I'm a constituent. This is my personal story or this is the data that I have. I really hope that you'll support this. And in Utah, we have a state legislative session coming up in January right around the corner and people need to know right now, the legislators need to know right now today that their constituents support this. So that's the number one thing. Um, and you can find information about civic engagement and how to get involved across the internet, right? Our tips though for these types of bills that are state policy, contact your legislators, write letters to the editor or an op-ed about the issue. Um, Speak to your governor, uh, your governor's office. Um, let the leadership of your state know this right. is an important issue. Um, you know, sometimes there are rallies um, to rally support for policies like this. Attend those rallies. There's public meetings or public hearings for bills. Attend those. Consider speaking up in those and saying, this is my personal story. A lot of the stories we hear are just tragic. Right. People who've been um, victims in mass shootings, which these can prevent, uh, domestic violence, homicide, and, and firearm injuries, which this can prevent, suicides of their uh, friends or uh, neighbors or colleagues, that this can prevent. And it's too late for those people. What would be so sad is if we wait too long in these other states that haven't passed this to provide the mechanism that is needed to prevent these types of deaths. Yeah. So how do we reach you? Uh, Action Utah is available online at www.actionutah.org. We're also on social media at Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We put out actions every day of the week on a number of policies. We have events constantly throughout the year, dozens and dozens of them. I'm hosting one tonight on how to become a delegate in Utah, just teaching people how to get civically involved, what are community advocacy skills, mm -hmm. how can they learn about the issues, how can they participate in the state legislative session and have a voice that is meaningful to impact issues like this. Do you guys have like a resource page on your website? So if families are watching this and they kind of are feeling like the red flag but they don't know where to start or what to ask. Absolutely. So we have a lot of resources generally about civic engagement. And if you do a search, you'll find information about red flag laws and how to uh, contact your state legislators through our actions. How many, I mean, you're strong, you're an advocacy supporter. Get in there and do something. Yes. How many issues do you guys deal with in the course of a year? Yeah, good question. Um, there's very few that we develop, probably about seven to nine bills that we bring to the state legislature right. every year. We develop with the uh, lawmakers, but we track about 70 throughout the like legislature. 7-0? 7-0. 
and they're across a huge range of issues. We have a mandate internally where we work on the issues that data shows Utahns care about the most, and we take the majority stance on those issues. So that can be across public health, environmental stewardship, uh, families and communities, government, uh, a wide range of issues. And so if this issue isn't for you, you're sure to, to find, find one that is at least one you know how big is is action utah do you guys have like a large group of people behind it or so what does that we look have like? um we're nearing seven thousand members across the state um we represent about 98 percent of the state legislative districts people from both sides of the aisle rural urban you know alike mm -hmm. all age groups um and so it's a, it's a large membership. Our team uh, consists of three full-time staff, and then we have some long-term volunteers, and we have a leadership development program. So we have interns and fellows going through our program consistently. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So it's an unending process. Unending. It's got to be frustrating that the deals keep coming up. It's a good thing that you're there, but it's got to be frustrating that it's a revolving door of issues that need to be dealt with, that there's no formula that has attracted the citizenry that they can say, I'm jumping on that bandwagon, I'm going to change that. That you're continually saying, get involved, get involved, get involved, and we can make a difference. You know, I came from a background of, of that had nothing to do with policy or advocacy. You right. know, I didn't I didn't study politics. I didn't run a nonprofit before this. You made movies. I made movies. I was in the film industry. You know, I'm a pretty ordinary person who just, you know, was oh, a full time working about mom. That? You go, go here, well, I just here. did something, you know, and I came from the perspective of someone who didn't know what to do, right? right. So many people can make a difference and, right. and people ask me all the time if it's depressing to constantly read the news and all the issues that are happening right. and it's, it is a never-ending cycle of issues. What, what advocacy does is try to solve public problems, right? right? And that will never stop. But I am incredibly optimistic because I see every day people who are making quite a difference. And sometimes it's one person who changes exactly. a vote. Sometimes it's three people who change the conversation about an entire issue. People who have no background, right. who have no experience, who just do an action that makes a difference. And so I always say every action matters. If you're thinking about taking 60 seconds to call your legislator or write an email to an elected official, do it. It makes a difference. So I don't feel it's depressing. I feel it's really um, a hopeful situation, right. particularly here in Utah where our legislators and our elected officials are so accessible. That's that's the unique thing about Utah is that you can get to the governor, you can get to the senators. It's sort of like an open door where there's really no door. You can walk in there and you can walk up to Capitol and talk to someone who is in a decision-making position to really deal with your issues. I, I really have the most respect for you. It's, it's to see such a bright and smart young lady out really reveling up the, the crowd to say, get involved. You know, I, I'm just, just happy to know you. And I want to assure you that um, living and aging with pride is that same process. And you can come here as often as you need be to talk about the issues that impact the people, the citizenry of this great state. So well, anytime and all the time. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. It's quite an honor to be here. You heard that? So it's an honor for you to listen and take action. Do something today. Because tomorrow is not going to be the same thing. So you better straighten it out today. Hey, we want to thank you for being here with us. And again, the invitation is open. We will continue the conversation. Oh, she's on our board. That's what I'm talking about. She's on our board. So we're going to have advocacy in the house. She's going to make sure that we stay on point with our issues about making sure we get the correct information out to all of you for Thank you very much. Thanks for having me, James. My pleasure. And Amelia, so good to see you. Oh, yeah. I'm so lonely without you, you know. I know. It's only been a week, but here I am. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you. And for all of you, check us out. We have a website, www.livingwithpride.org. Um, we're on Facebook, we're on YouTube, we're on Instagram, Instagram, we're on Twitter, and we've got phones. You can call us if you want to. Till next time, 
I'm out.